2020 has been a tough year for so many of us, but here at Bridge Precision in Pontypridd in Wales, something happened that hasn't happened in over 50 years, and it's all because of this. Mark, 2020 has been quite difficult for many, but for yourself, it's been a little bit harder. So what happened earlier on in this year? Um, unfortunately, the River Taff, uh, which is by the side of my company, come flo flowing through the, um, the company and give me a metre of water, which I wouldn't expected. Sunday, February the 16th, I um, had an early call. It was bad weather throughout that weekend, and I had an early call. It's about maybe 6, 6 a.m. So I kind of knew something was wrong because Mark had left the house um, about two hours before trying to get down to Bridge Precision Engineering. He couldn't get anywhere near the, the factory. There was a lot of detours that he had to take. He's seen kind of cars floating on his way, trying to get back down. Um, when he finally arrived at the factory, there was a river. The river had broke the bank and was running straight through into the factory. 90% of the machines failed on that particular day. As you can imagine, electric and water don't mix. Um, we had to have expertise people coming in throughout the company from the following following day and the days after that and they condemned most of the machines and said we can't use any more so when we managed to get down it was about half past nine ten o'clock and, and and the factory was completely flooded near enough to my waist straight through so what because the factory was absolutely flooded what was going through your mind then um, mark had been kind of new to the role as director He's, it's just coming up two years since he's took over the, the, the leadership role at Bridge Position and I just kind of thought that's it, you know. Um. Well, I was a bit surprised to get the phone call from uh, Mark to say that uh, over that weekend where we had all the heavy rain in February that uh, unfortunately his uh, business had been flooded out up to two metres, um, that his team were trying to dry out the premises and get rid of all the water and could I come down to have a look at the, the extra wire cut machine that was uh, on site. Uh, I managed to get down there early on the Wednesday morning to have a look at it to see if we could uh, rescue the machine but unfortunately uh, due to the amount of water that had come through the, the building uh, unfortunately we had to scrap the machine. So then what did you do to turn around the company? Of course you wanted to help so how did you do that? Well I could see everybody here were stripping machines down, drying out motors, trying to get the business up and running. They got orders to get out, and that uh, obviously, uh, you know, I needed to do my bit for the company. They were a long-standing customer of White Machine Tools, so uh, we got a, we got stock machines. I decided to arrange transport with Charles Russell Transport to come down, collect this machine, and bring a new machine down on the Friday morning. So within 48 hours, we were back on site, and by three o'clock in the afternoon, Mark was up and running, uh, wiring his parts that needed to go out. Um, I know that this area of the business is critical. All his parts start here before they go out into the, to the rest of the workshop. So on a personal level, how did that make you feel with helping them, you know, from the business to a personal level? Well, it's a family business. You could see everybody was trying. Uh, he didn't want to let his customers down. And very much the same philosophy of Swipe Machine Tools. We try to be as flexible as possible. So what happened? What changed? Um, support. Um, support from family, support from friends, support from the team here at Bridge Position Engineering. They are a fantastic workforce. Mark couldn't get through it without his team here at Bridge Position. Customers, very supportive. All the customers were, were supportive. The suppliers, hence Warwick Machine Tools being one of those suppliers, fantastic. Everybody came together that week and got Mark through, through that indescribable week so give me an example part that you make here what is kind of like what tell me the material a variety of components um, mainly drive dogs and uh, mandrels and cutting components and the materials are all variation of materials ASP 2005 D2 tooling steels 
a variety of other materials. So it just goes on and on. And so why is the Exotech the heart of the company? Does everything have to go on there and then it kind of, then the work gets spread across the other machines you've got here? Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Um, it's su such an advanced machine. It, it's it's uh, the heartbeat of the factory because it's the, the calibration is and the, the correctness of the machine is just second to none. So it's just, it's just a wonderful thing to have.